You still haven't told me where you went. No. Well, I'm not sure it matters now. I'm sorry. Tom, I thought you were poorly. Sarah, I need you to take Jack upstairs. No, go on, now, please. Your big meeting finished now, is it? I hope it was worth it. Did you put your mum in the picture? For what it's worth, I'm sorry. But you were still lying to me. I mean, give me that much at least. And you don't trust me? It's more... It's more about the fact that I don't know anything about you. You're secretive, Tom. You were weird about the picture that I took of us. There is still something going on here. I'm not stupid. You're right. The truth is, Debbie, I'm still not being entirely honest with you. Why did I know that was coming? Right, come on then. Whatever it is, just say it. Look, this wasn't just about the meeting. I could have rescheduled if I wanted. I mean, they should be used to waiting around for me by now. <laughs> yeah, well, I reckon they're not the only ones. I didn't want to meet your family. That's why I bailed on today. And that's the truth, is it? I'm afraid to say. So, so what's wrong with my family? Well, not your family in particular. It's just... Well, <laughs> I never really had a family, Debbie. Well, I never had a pony. But I don't think I'd be that bothered about meeting one. I never had a pony either, if that's what you're wondering. I mean, I could probably get one. I could probably get loads. Yeah, good. I'm glad that you find this so funny. I don't. Look, it's just this whole family thing. I guess it just freaks me out. I'm not that great at relationships, too, for that matter. <laughs> no kidding. Not a proper one, anyway. And you... You think that's what we've got, do you? I think we could. Look, I know I've got issues. But I want this to work. That is, if you can forgive me. You don't have to 